Good morning, Simeon. Good morning. What are you making? Um, bananas with um, yogurt and granola. Yes, yeah, so we were gonna do a fruit salad, but I don't know. I have bananas and apples and oranges. <laughs> I didn't get any other fruit out of the freezer. Hi, out of the freezer in time. So we're just doing bananas and yogurt and granola. That's gonna be our Mommy, breakfast for today. Mommy. Yes, Wesley, what do you wanna say to me? Um, what? <laughs> what are you saying? Um. On? Um. You're so funny. Oh, you want the tray on, is that what you're saying? Well, it's not, breakfast isn't quite ready yet, okay? You'll have to sit here and wait for just a minute. Then we've got some, what is this, raspberry yogurt? Yeah, and it seems Gonna really put a, yummy. Looks really yummy, doesn't it? Gonna put a couple spoonfuls of yogurt on everybody's bowls, and then I also just got out some of this store-bought granola to put on top. Yeah. You are such a good chef in the kitchen, Simeon. Did you know that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Did you know that? Yeah. You already knew that without me telling you? This is such an easy breakfast that Simeon can do all by himself. No help from me. He was able to make this breakfast all by himself. And someone over here is so hungry. It's coming, I promise. Hello. You're welcome. Hello. <laughs> You're welcome. Enjoy. Welcome back to my channel. I am doing a, um, there's always so much noise in the background while I'm filming. Someone's usually practicing the piano. Someone's listening to a podcast on the other side of the room. So lots of noise, lots of noise going on here. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Julie. I am a mom to five. Uh, so I will take you along today and just show you everything that we eat in a typical day. Uh, as most of you guys know, um, I am doing intermittent fasting, so I don't have breakfast. My usual hours of eating are between noon and 6 p.m. I try to keep all my eating in that time period. That being said, I do something that I know is technically cheating, and that is that I drink coffee with cream during my fasting period, and I know that that technically is supposed to break my fast, but I do put just a little bit of cream into my coffee. I typically have about three coffees a day, so all that being said, I am just pouring myself my first, my first coffee right now. I was just pulling out the camera and Wesley said, up please, up please. Did you want to be in the video too? Yeah. You handsome boy. I actually thought, you know what, I'll do a full day of food. Like earlier this week I thought, I'll do a full day of food this day. Uh, because we're going out and that way we can film a full day of food when we're out because usually my full days of food are when we're home all day. Well, chance plans changed and we are home all day today so it'll be a usual full day of food. Wesley's playing with Play-Doh. Did you put Play-Doh in your mouth? Yeah. Don't eat it. Charity is my lunch helper. I'll show you what we have going on for lunch. So first off, I made, where are they? I made biscuits. Yesterday, the day before, something like that, we're gonna have leftovers. So when I initially made the biscuits, I made these sandwiches, egg and sausage sandwiches, so there's half left, someone gets to have. Um, I just made pie crust this morning, because I wanna make a pie today. Uh, what else do we have going on here? So Charity sliced up ham and cheese that are gonna go on these uh, leftover biscuits. She's also gonna slice up a cucumber, and then I want you to slice up that pepper as well. Uh, and then I'm just gonna have some scrambled eggs for lunch. So I sliced up ham, tomato, onions, and peppers. So I'm gonna get those scrambled eggs all put together while Charity gets some sandwiches put together. This looks a little bit scary. All right, are you planning to put mustard on the biscuits? That's fine, uh, just don't put any on Wesley's, okay? I like to fry up my meat and peppers and onions first. Then I take my eggs, and then I just steadily mix it. I don't really leave it to cook at all, because then it starts to stick. I try to just stay on top of it and constantly mix it until the eggs are cooked through. Right near the end of my cooking, I put my tomatoes in, and then after I took it off of my pan and into my bowl, I just put some pepper on, and then some of this green you see is a hot sauce, 
and that is my lunch. It looks delicious. Everybody ready? Everybody hungry? Yeah. So we're just starting everybody with yeah. half of a biscuit and ham and cheese, right? Charity with the egg. She wanted the leftover egg one. I'd so much rather get the kids a second one than them not be able to finish, right? Okay, so there's my lunch. The kids have their raw veggies. Everybody drinks milk. I have water. Everybody else drinks milk. It is almost two o'clock, so only a couple of hours since lunch. <laughs> but uh, for one, I've only had one coffee so far today, so I'm warming up coffee. I'm going to mix it with some eggnog. If you guys have been here for long, again, you know me. You know I love my coffee nog. And through the months of like November and December, that is like my favorite afternoon treat. So I get that mixed together. Also, I don't know if you guys have bought this from Costco before. As you can see, it's almost gone. But it's this um, like seedy, nutty bark. It is so good. It has like honey or cane sugar or something um, holding it together into this bark. So I'm going to eat a couple pieces, but my kids saw me grabbing it out and they're like, oh, can we have that for snack too? So we'll all just have a little bit. We are just getting water bottles. Yeah, get everybody's water bottles out for snack. And this is what uh, we are doing for snacks. So we've just got apple slices, orange slices, some peanut butter pretzels, some of that uh, bark I showed you earlier, and then some almonds and cashews. I've done up all of the um, pie prep dishes. And now it is time to start making supper. I am making a lasagna casserole tonight so the first thing I need to do is brown my beef with some onions and then for this recipe I pre-cook my noodles I said that funny noodles so I'm gonna get my water boiling so I can get those cooked up and I'll take you along and show you how I make this recipe I love cooking dinners that don't create very many dishes this is not one of them so I've got my uh, lasagna noodles. Are you done your water? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I've got my lasagna noodles cooking in there. My beef and onion and garlic is all cooked up in here. The recipe says just to add some spaghetti sauce. I don't have any like pre-made spaghetti sauce, so I'm just doing a can of tomato sauce, a can of diced tomatoes. I'm gonna add Italian seasoning, onion powder, and then I've got my mozzarella cheese all grated over here. I've got my pans ready. Look how delicious that pie looks. Here's my recipe. I will link it below as well, but if you want to like take a little screenshot or anything, there it is. Ready to start some layering. So that's my sauce. Here's my mozzarella cheese. And then in here, I've got the lasagna noodles that I cooked. And then I also put sour cream and cottage cheese in there. This makes such a nice creamy lasagna. You guys need to try this recipe. So I'm gonna do sauce and then noodles and then cheese and then do that a second time. And these will be ready to go into the oven. I did cook up uh, one and a half times. It's not just a single recipe. I just did it one and a half times so we have a little bit extra. Lasagna's ready to go into the oven. I also washed a couple of heads of lettuce. I'm going to make um, a Caesar salad. This is definitely not my norm to make like a fancy meal like this. So many dishes. I think I've washed dishes twice in the last hour or so just to kind of clean up my workspace because my kitchen's not huge to work in. And also to have dessert, like we never almost never have dessert. But anyway, I thought it was a good night to do uh, kind of a fancier meal. Thankfully, uh, I have some good helpers. I have some good helpers to uh, clean the kitchen up afterwards. I also have my um, KitchenAid 
bowl and whisk sitting in the fridge to get cool it off so that I can whip up some whipped cream to go with our pie. There's one somewhere in here. There it is. Can't have pumpkin pie without, without whipped cream. Well, I am certainly still full from that filling supper, but it's a movie night tonight for the kids and they assure me that they are hungry again. I'm sure they're more snacky than they are actually hungry, but they have been enjoying these lately, these hickory sticks. So I just give them all a small helping of hickory sticks and just a few, a few candies. I am going to end the evening by just drinking, what is this cherry? my favorite, the cherry uh, bubbly. That is all that I will have, I think, when the kids have snacks and then Andrew has a snack later on and it's a little bit hard for me, as depending on what the snack is, for me to not have it, but I try to eat enough at supper that I'm not hungry again before bed. Even if I feel a little bit snacky, um, I'm not really hungry, so I should be able to make it uh, till tomorrow at lunchtime. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you'll give it a thumbs up if you did. And I'll see you next time.